All right, this one's for Slider and some of the other guys working at the Energetic Forum that are looking at um, at LEDs right now. And there was a study done by some um, sharp people about what happens to an LED when you don't turn it on all the way. So they started working with these LEDs on this one thread, and so I thought I'd go back and revisit an experiment that I did a few months ago. And this is an infrared LED. This is my penny oscillator, and uh, I've got a radio so you can hear it. And this is uh, the John Bedini cell, and what that light looks like at night. Uh, it's very, very bright. And uh, um, I'm just wondering if, if John, if um, what you've told us is true, is that these are absorbing heat and infrared uh, radiation, one of the reasons they're working. And uh, I'm going to do some tests on that thing there and see if I can get any reaction out of that, too. But let me turn this on and show you what happens here. This is just an infrared LED. It's an oscillator that stops, starts up at about one microamp and about half a volt. That's all it takes. Now this will take a second for this to activate, but you should hear it on the radio and it will start blinking the eyes here in a second. I'm going to put this LED right up where the um, the light is. Notice the purple on the camera. That's the infrared, I'm pretty sure. You can start to hear penny start up here. And that's being run by that uh, infrared LED off of the candle right there. And that's all that's happening there. It's picking up the, uh, the heat signature and the uh, light um, and gaining enough energy through that to run this oscillator. So anyway, I'm just wondering if, if what's going on over here on uh, the crystalline cells has anything at all to do with that. Let me turn this up a little bit. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with uh, the guys that are working on these uh, energy from an LED. And uh, just something I thought I would share tonight. Thanks for watching.